Hello and welcome back. If you're new, I'm Lene and I am on a mission to help you to supercharge your health and simplify your lifestyle so that you can live and love your best life. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three quick and easy dinner options that you can choose for vegan and non-vegan diets alike. These are my go-tos most days when I wanna keep things simple. And if you're really into more complex lunch ideas, this may not be the video for you. But if you wanna see more videos on health and wellness, feel free to subscribe to my channel and let me know what videos that you wish to see in the future. If you struggle with what to eat and you really want quick, easy meals in a short amount of time, but you aren't sure where to start, then you gotta know that you're just not alone. When I surveyed friends, family, and patients, folks asked me to share some quick meal ideas to help improve health without complicated systems, ingredients, or recipes that are expensive. So in an effort to help you out, I am creating a what I eat in a day series so that you can acquire new breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner ideas that are time efficient, effortless, whole foods based, and easy to prepare. I'll link these videos and the playlist for you at the end of this video. Eating healthy or eating to lose weight does not need to be expensive. It doesn't need to be time consuming or boring. To prove this, I'm gonna show you some rather budget friendly, quick and tasty dinner ideas to help keep you on track towards your health and fitness goals, whether it's to eat healthier or to lose a few LBs. The three dinner options that I will share with you are my simple recipes for Italian meatballs, chili lime chicken burgers, and Asian lettuce wraps. The only tools that you will need are a pan for stir frying the Asian lettuce wrap mix, a skillet, or a Pyrex dish for baking your meatballs, a small saucepan for the marinara sauce, a blender or food processor for the sauce if you like it a little less chunky, and a copper plate for barbecuing or a pan for frying your burgers. First, choose your meat base. You can choose ground, grass-fed, free-range and organic beef, pork, turkey, chicken, or if you're vegan, grab the Beyond Meat plant-based ground protein. I like this vegan option because it's wheat and soy-free. I'll share with you the other ingredients for each of the meal options as we discuss them. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to use ground chicken or turkey for each of these recipes. Here's a little side note though, I have purchased most of my ingredients from Trader Joe's or Costco and occasionally Whole Foods. However, you should be able to find similar ingredients at most grocery stores that you shop at. For the first meal, we will need ingredients for the sauce and for the meatballs. For the sauce, all you really need is one can of diced and fire roasted tomatoes with green chilies, one six ounce can of tomato paste, some garlic salt, red pepper flakes if you like spicy, some fennel seeds and Italian seasoning. For the meatballs, you will need one pound of your meat of choice, half an onion chopped, one egg, or if you're vegan, a tablespoon of ground flax seed or chia seeds mixed with two to three tablespoons of hot water and then let it sit for a few minutes to thicken. You'll want Italian seasoning, chili pepper flakes, again, if you like spicy, some garlic salt, and again, fennel seeds. In a bowl, mix up your meat, your egg, and half a teaspoon of chili pepper flakes, one to two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, eight grinds of garlic salt or a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and some chopped onion. Mix it up well and place golf ball size portions into an iron skillet or baking dish at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes until it's fully cooked through. Serve with a vegetable of your choice. While the meatballs are cooking, put the fire roasted tomatoes, tomato paste, garlic salt, red pepper flakes, and Italian seasoning 
and maybe a little fennel into a small saucepan. Stir and heat it. And if you prefer more of like a pizza sauce consistency, then feel th free to throw the whole mix into a blender or a food processor. And really, that's it. For the burgers, we will need one pound of ground meat of your choice, one egg, or again, use the flaxseed or chia seed mix that I mentioned, half an onion chopped, chili lime seasoning salt from Trader Joe's, one third cup of chopped fresh cilantro, and large leafy lettuce for your wraps. Mix all of the ingredients together and heat up the barbecue grill using your copper plate. You can get this at Bed Bath & Beyond, by the way, or use a skillet on your stove heated with one tablespoon to two tablespoons of avocado oil. Place about one third cup of meat onto the cooking surface in a shape of a patty that is about four inches in diameter. Cook on medium heat, about two to three minutes on each side. When the juice starts to push through the surface, this is when you know that you need to flip the burger. Serve it on a large leaf of lettuce or on a grilled portobello mushroom. Top this with your favorite burger toppings. For the wraps, we will need one pound of ground meat, two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil or coconut oil, one cup of chopped cremini or portobello mushrooms, one can of sliced water chestnuts chopped into smaller pieces, one third cup of shredded carrot, one tablespoon of ground ginger, juice from a lime, one tablespoon of plum sauce or hoisin sauce, or coconut aminos for sweetness, one tablespoon of each of the following. Garlic chili sauce for spice, Bragg's amino acids for that soy sauce flavor, half a tablespoon of red boat fish sauce, one third cup of chopped fresh basil, fresh cilantro, and one fourth cup of chopped fresh mint. In a large pan, cook the oil and ground meat until all the pink is gone, about five minutes. Add in your mushrooms, your ginger, and your carrot. Stir until the mushrooms are fully cooked through, about three to five minutes. Then add in the liquid and herb ingredients. Serve warm in your butter leaf lettuce. So now, I wanna hear from you. If you have any favorite quick, healthy, whole foods-based dinner recipes, let us know in the comments down below. We can all learn from each other and get new ideas to help incorporate into our meal planning. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, then give this video a like and feel free to share it with your friends, especially those who are interested in enhancing their health habits and subscribe for more videos related to health and lifestyle. Until next time, my friend, don't forget to really supercharge your health and to simplify your lifestyle so that you can satisfy that awesome soul of yours. Mwah.